Hey everyone, it's Dean, and I'm so excited to show you how to batch export stems in GarageBand that I made a song about it. Exporting stems out of GarageBand, it's really right. But I'll let you hear the full release later. For now, let's just jump into how to batch export stems here in GarageBand. You're going to start by right clicking on any track and then clicking on Configure Track Header. And a little menu pops up and you're of course gonna hit the track lock button. And now a little track lock icon comes up on each of your tracks. So what you're gonna do is engage this track lock button only on the tracks that you wanna stem from. For example, I don't need a stem from this dry track here because there's no audio. So I'm gonna leave that one alone and go ahead and lock the rest of the tracks. And then finally hit my space bar to freeze the tracks in place. Now the freeze time on a small project like this was only about 10 seconds, but if you have a massive project that has tons of tracks and it's really long, you could be looking at a few minutes. But now that the freeze is done, I'm simply gonna go to my finder window and find the project. Once you locate the file, you'll right click on it and hit show package contents. Then you'll click on media and go to freeze files. And now if I click in here and hit the space bar, you can hear my stems from this track. That's the Dream Dancer. We have the bass. Then I have this Auto Drummer track. The Beat Machine kit here. And finally, the vocals. Exporting stems. I have the background vocal here, but notice there's no stem for my dry track because I didn't lock it. Now here's one crazy note to make. For some reason in GarageBand, it does not pick up these effects in the stems. Now it does pick up these plugin effects within the stems, but it doesn't do these master effects. So listen to the echo and the reverb that's on this lead vocal in the track. Exporting stems. But now listen to its stem. Exporting stems. Yeah, so I have no idea why it does that, but you can add your own reverb and echo here in the plugins, refreeze the track, and now it will show up in your stems list. Exporting stems. But this brings up a very important point, and that is if you want a dry stem, meaning absolutely no effects or processing, then you need to go ahead and turn off all of the effects on your track, and you'll have a completely dry, unprocessed stem. But if you want to hear your different effects and processing, then of course you'll leave it on. And now without further ado, I'm going to drop this brand new stem single right on top of your head. Exporting stems out of garage band. It's really right and it makes me glad. It's really right. Makes me glad. I am a dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So before I finish this video, I have to give a massive shout out to my subscriber, DPP official, who actually showed me how to do this knuckle bump. And beyond that, if you're someone who wants to make serious music in GarageBand, then this is definitely the channel for you and I would highly recommend you subscribe and stick around. Exporting stems.